Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool rotary desk Stromberg and Carlson. It's a 1543 very highly collectible telephone, very sought after. And this is Chuck's equipment from Ohio. And this telephone is in exceptionally good condition. And we want to go ahead and go through it since this is the initial checkout. Now I want to show you what we found on the inside of this telephone. We found a full schematic to this unit. It tells you everything that you want to know about this telephone. So we want to go ahead and send that back to Chuck, but this was in the unit. So that's a very cool find. Through the years, I've worked on quite a few of these. You don't see them that often, but they're out there. And you usually do not see the schematic with it, so that's a really cool find. So we're going to get that back to Chuck and I'll tuck it inside the phone because that's where it's been all these years. Now, we want to go through this unit. Like I said earlier, this is the initial checkout. We want to check and troubleshoot the line cord. It's the original line cord, but it has a four-prong plug. Now, if this line cord is good and it troubleshoots out, we're going to go ahead and replace this four-prong plug to a regular modular port adapter and that way Chuck can simply plug it into any modern jack and go ahead and that'll be a plug-and-play situation. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you the unit. We have a straight line for the handset cord. This telephone's in very good condition. Your Stromberg and Carlson is right here. I'm not sure the video is picking that up. But it doesn't uh, have a bunch of wear on it like you would normally see on a handset that uh, the telephone had a whole bunch of, of wear and tear on it. Uh, everything is, the letters are all very prominent and the encasement around it. So that's really cool. Now this unit, we're going to go through everything. We're going to go through the rotary. That's going to be oiled, cleaned, and adjusted. And I want to show you on the rotary it's very very sluggish and it'll probably just stick it does not want it to return and if you ever have a rotary that does this you do not want to try to take the rotary back you need to let it come back on its own and if it doesn't you have to be very very gentle with it and if it doesn't return then it's definitely going to have to be looked at and this one still has not returned all the way, so I'm just going to give it a little. As long as you're easy with it, it should come back. But if it sticks, don't try to force it ever. Now, we have the cover loose, but this telephone basically is in an Art Deco type situation here. It has an Art Deco-ish look to it. And then we're going to give you a look at the bottom of the unit. Very clean unit. Still has our tag on it. And then we have our 1543L. 42 is probably the ring frequency. And the feet do not have a lot of wear and tear on them either. The pads. Give you a look at the inside of this unit. That's what the uh, body looks like. Very good condition. Give you a look at the inside. Of course, this is our network. You have a block here for your line cord. The other side is a block for the network, hook switch, rotary dial, handset cord. Gives you a look at that if you've never seen the inside of one of these phones. Like I mentioned earlier, you see these once in a while but you don't see them all that often. So they're out there, but they're 
highly collectible. So we want to go ahead and get a start on this unit. We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this really cool 1543 rotary desk Stromberg and Carlson. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we're in the middle of the process of repairing and converting this really cool Stromberg and Carlson rotary desk telephone. And we want to show a little bit about what's going on. Now we have our bracket that holds in our rotary dial, so we're going to set that to the side. Our dust cover that is over the rotary workings itself is held on by all of the screws for the block that hold down the wiring block. So you have to remove all of the wiring to the rotary to get the dust cover off. So we want to set that to the side. And I want to show you the workings of the rotary. This is what it looks like if you've never seen the inside of one of these. Give you a good look at that. So that looks pretty clean, but what we want to do is we want to clean anything and we want to oil and adjust and make sure that our numbers are racking off properly. Now you might notice something else about the base. Right here are the holes that are in the bottom of the base for the telephone and there's no bell. It's missing. And that tag on the bottom of the telephone base indicates that there's no bell in this unit. At the time they thought that you probably had a bell box in your home or in your office or business and that it did not need one. So if you didn't order a bell with it or the telephone company came out and gave you a phone, they would only give you a bell if you didn't have a bell box evidently because that tag on the bottom, that sticker, is an indication that this unit does not have a bell in it. And we'll do a still picture of that. So what we want to do is we're going to install an aftermarket bell. And that way we can be assured that it will always ring on any type of voltage that we would have on our lines today. So we'll go ahead and take care of that situation. We also want to troubleshoot our hook switch. We want to make sure that that's working properly and that it's clean. We want to check our block, make sure our line cord is good and all the connections are proper, and our handset cord. We want to make sure all those connections are proper and that they're tight. We want to troubleshoot our transmit and our receive. So we're going to go ahead and finish all this work up and then we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this rotary desk Stromberg and Carlson. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this Stromberg and Carlson rotary desk telephone and we're ready to start our final checkout. Now I also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. And we also want to mention that we installed a bell, a bell circuit, went through the hook switch, the transmit, the receive, the rotary was cleaned, oiled, and adjusted. We have a nice, smooth return on our rotary now. So that's been taken care of. We also installed our modular port adapter for the line cord. So basically we went through a little bit of everything and all the issues have been resolved. And so now what we want to do is we want to use the analyzer and we'll ring the unit. So we'll go ahead and start a ring cycle. We'll let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time. We'll give you some dial tone. We're going to 
walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> hello, hello. So now that we know that this unit is ringing in on a ring cycle, it's dialing out, we have transmit and receive. We can go ahead and push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out totally takes the analyzer out of the situation and we can call a time and temp number so we'll go ahead and give you some dial tone and we'll make that call good evening today is Monday March 7th the time is 8.34, current temperature 64 degrees. Now the weather forecast for the Belleville area. Windy and warmer today, mostly cloudy, then becoming partly sunny, then becoming mostly cloudy late, a chance of showers and thunderstorms, highs in the lower 70s, mostly cloudy this evening, lows in the mid-50s. Cloudy on Tuesday, showers and thunderstorms likely highs around 70. We can hang our unit up. Now that we know that this really cool Stromberg and Carlson 1543 rotary desk telephone has been repaired and converted. We can return it to Chuck and he can enjoy this telephone. I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's used. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.